Hello everyone, today we're gonna disassemble uh, HP Leadbook 2530p. Uh, the laptop have a problem uh, with the random rebooting and shutting down, so I have to check how is the board and decide to make a video. So let's start because this is not a very easy to be disassembled laptop. First we're gonna remove the battery. After that we're gonna remove all the the back covers. The laptop is with uh, 1.8 inch hard drive we have to open the mechanism here just slide it now we're gonna continue I think we have to remove the Wi-Fi card because I have to pull out the main board after that We want to remove the 3G module also. Basically, we have to strip everything from the laptop. Mm, here is the Bluetooth. Also, we have to remove this cover. Now we have to remove the rubber pieces here, they are covering some of the screws. Like this. And let's remove the screws on the keyboard, they are uh, regular one Phillips screws. All the rest are a bit different. We have to take out the optical drive also. Now we're gonna replace the tip of the screwdriver and we're gonna remove the rest of the screws. Let me check, I think, yeah, there's hidden screws here also. We have to remove those two screws also. 
and I think we are ready to flip the laptop and continue with the rest of the disassembly I hope now in order to remove the keyboard I think we have to lift this piece here like this just lift it on side and I think we can now lift the keyboard we have to open the mechanism like this there's a lot of cables here now we have to disconnect all the cables We're going to disconnect the LCD cable. And we're going to remove the display. But I think there should be screws here on this side also, which of course we forgot. And now we are ready to leave the display. Now we have two screws in here which are holding the upper casing for the board and one screw here on this side. Now we have to, I think, disconnect the touchpad and uh, the fingerprint sensor. We're gonna separate the 
one side and then and after that the next one like this and now we're gonna disconnect the touchpad like this now we have to disconnect the speaker here on this side this is the cable for the bluetooth that we previously disconnect so right now we have to remove one screw here i think we have to disconnect the LED indication and i think we are good to go yeah like this basically that's the whole procedure as much as i remember this laptop was here about two years ago i did replace this cap here because it's a common fault so probably I will replace it again and I'm gonna reassemble the laptop there won't be a reassembly video because I doubt I'll have the time to, to record the video so I hope you like the video bye bye for now